Seven News. Boss Seven News. Boss Seven News. Yeah, me? <laughs> right on. You may begin. Good evening. I'm Janet, and I'm Stacy with Boss Seven News. How do you think your teenager is getting enough sleep? Well, new research shows that teenagers actually only need seven hours of sleep, and the myth that they need eight or more hours of sleep is not true. The original study was in the 1970s. Younger children need to have about eight to 12 hours of sleep. Whoa, Stacy, we're at a basketball game. We are. <laughs> oh, team, team, come on, come on, over here. <laughs> basketball game. Well, yeah, number nine, number nine. Now we will go to Andy, who's an interview with a teenager named Tegan, with her opinions about sleep. And this teenager is so lazy that she brought her bed to a basketball game. <laughs> Andy? Andy? Thank you, Jeanette and Stacy. I'm Andy. And I am here with this girl, this young teenager named Tegan. So. <laughs> Woo! So you brought your bed all the way to a basketball game? Well, of course I did. But wait, before you ask the questions. Oh, I'm the I'm on the news! Go to Channel 7! I'm sorry, what were you saying? <laughs> Slam dunk! So, how many hours of sleep do you get each night? Well, I get about five hours of sleep each night, but... <laughs> Do you think you need more or less sleep? Well, I could use more, but I mean, you know, I'm up so late texting and on Facebook all night. I'm fine with less. How do you do during the day with just that much sleep? You know, I normally fall asleep during pre-calc, but like my teacher doesn't really. Well, she cares. She cares a lot, but oh well. <laughs> <laughs> well, she probably should care. <laughs> Thank you for your time. I'm Andy with Boston News, and now back to the newsroom with Jeanette and Stacy. Thank you, Andy and Teenager Tegan. Ow! Oh, darn basketballs. <laughs> Jeez, number nine. Woo! There's no room for that team anymore. Okay, well, also we have two 98-year-old twins who disagree with this new study. They were announced the longest living and the oldest twins. Doctors believe it's because they got so much sleep as teenagers. So they disagree that this new study says that they need less sleep. And now we'll interview one of the twins with Juliet. Juliet? <laughs> Thank you, Jan Stacy. I'm Juliet with Boston News interviewing one of the twins who is crowned the oldest twins ever. So, what was it like growing up as a child? Get your head in the game, come on! All these basketball players. <laughs> when I was growing up, it was it was actually kind of difficult because my sister was uh, smarter than me and she was prettier than me. And kind of crowned prom queen, but you know, it was, it was, it was nice. So did you and your sister get along? Well, um... When you kind of look like a person, and you act like that person, and you kind of live with that person, you kind of have to learn to get along with them. <laughs> How do you feel now? Old and wrinkly. <laughs> so, so, recent studies show that teenagers now need less sleep. Do you agree with this? Why or why not? You know, I, um, I actually don't agree with this. You know, I just love yeah. sleeping in until 5 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. I'm Julia. Actually, you know, all of you out there, you could use more sleep. Because you could live to 98. Eight? I'm that old already? <laughs> <laughs> Sleep because this basketball game just got on too long. Good night. <laughs> 